Hey everyone, I'm Dana from QMod, and today I'm going to talk to you about the energy block. We developed the energy block to allow anyone to discover energy from natural sources, like wind, water, sunshine, even plants. Harness this energy and power all sorts of things, like LEDs, buzzers, even low energy microcontrollers. The energy block has two sides for connections, an input and an output. We've color coordinated the input and output of the energy block with the colors of the crocodile wires. Since the connections are magnetic, the crocodile wires will easily clip on. We've developed two modes into the energy block, discovery mode and charge mode. The discovery mode does two things. First, it lets you know that your setup is working correctly. If you see an LED turn on, that means you have electricity flowing through the circuit. Second, it lets you know how much energy you can charge into the energy block. If your source is producing 3 volts, that yellow LED will turn on, indicating that you can charge the block to 3 volts. If your source is producing 5 volts, the blue LED will turn on, indicating you can charge your block up to 5 volts. Now that we understand discovery mode, I'm going to show you charge mode. So if you take a look here at my energy block, I can switch over to charge mode and you can see that the yellow LED turns on indicating that there's 3 volts charged into the energy block. Now there are a bunch of ways to charge up your energy block with even more energy and we'll be going through all of this using the three sources in our energy kit, solar, mechanical and reduction oxidation. On top of this we'll be going through a whole pile of energy experiments and things you can create using the energy you've harnessed with the QMOD Energy Kit. Don't forget to check out our website for more information, the latest tutorials, and much more. Also, find us on social media for the latest in educational energy content. That's all for now. Keep innovating.